Good morning from Sarajevo, guys. I woke up today in this awesome hostel. It's called Hostel City Center. It's exactly at the center of Sarajevo, and like that's gonna be your best chance. Like it's the best value for money, and at the same time they give you free breakfast. So it's a no-brainer. Just come here. first impressions of the city were amazing. So many things coexist here. Time to go out and explore the amazing city of Sarajevo. Sarajevo is multicultural and all these different cultures seem to coexist in complete harmony here. And also it's the food capital of the Balkans. Like seriously, the food here is so freaking good. I've left the old town and I'm going up. There's a viewpoint up there. I don't know where exactly, but I'm gonna find it and see the whole city below. Sarajevo is so freaking interesting. Like images everywhere, everywhere. I can honestly say it has become really steep. I believe it's just around the corner. Almost there, baby, almost there. Just look at that. That, I'm gonna die. That view, seriously worth all the trouble of coming up here. Sarajevo is just incredible and I'm going to discover more of it. Now I'm hiking down this beautiful trail and I'm going to find the castle. Sarajevo is all about walking into this small street. It's kind of a mystical experience mixed with a lot of reality. It's seriously so freaking cool. And this is steep. So I'm at the castle. The castle kind of sucks, but look at this awesomeness. The view from here, even if it's lower than the previous, it's so much better. I don't know why, but it's like so beautiful. It's the most unique city and capital that I've ever been into. But you need to have somebody to guide you in. Like I was feeling the same thing in Istanbul. Istanbul is also a super cool city, but I didn't know anyone there. This city is like all about underground places that only locals know. And if you don't meet the right people, you will not find them. They're very well hidden for a reason, because they're so awesome. But anyway, I'm definitely coming back to Sarajevo. What? Look at all these holes from the bullets from the war. Like, I think they should rebuild it because nobody should remember this stuff. But anyway, whatever. What do I know? Another awesome viewpoint. I'm that weird guy talking to this camera and everybody's looking at and that's the last view before I go down there and come here to enjoy my chebabchichi. I ordered it with kaimak. Makes all the difference. I don't know why they have a fork. I don't need it. Man, this thing is so good. So good. So I'm gonna close the camera now because I just want to enjoy it. Thanks, bye. Seriously, chebapi, chebap chichi or just kebab. It's one of the best I've ever tried in my whole life, like hands down. So after my delicious meal, I continued wandering around the old town for hours. There is something about this city. You don't really understand what, but you can feel it all around you. Something deep that penetrates your existence. It is holy and evil, bitter and sweet, full of light, darkness and everything in between. I might sound a bit poetic, but that's exactly what I felt while being there. There is also the reality of it, which is pretty obvious. Sarajevo suffered a lot during the recent war, when Yugoslavia fell apart. For many years, all the sides were trying to conquer it with devastating consequences for the economy, the culture, the city itself, but most importantly for people's hearts, 
who are still trying to recover. I've said it many times during this video and I will repeat it once again. Sarajevo is one of the coolest and most interesting cities I've ever been. I don't know if it's the right city for you to visit, but I'm definitely coming back one day. Back at the hostel city center and I'm about to watch Barcelona against Real Madrid. Don't forget to comment, like and subscribe as all these things actually make a lot of difference and always remember to support Barcelona. <laughs> Thanks for watching, be well and see ya!